thank you first to uh, Peter Alexander. That was lovely. I loved every minute of it, whether it was true or not. Uh, and to the Chancellor, congratulations, and uh, delighted to have you in charge of all of this. Uh, and to John, thanks for all of your years of service as well. You know, to be included uh, among the Lincoln laureates is uh, indeed an honor, a very, very special honor. And as I look back over the many who have been so honored over the years, uh, I find that my pride in it uh, uh, actually expands. And to those of you tonight uh, who are with whom I'm sharing this induction, may I say only that I am not only delighted uh, but humbled to share it with you. Now, I found myself asking, why me? Uh, I have known your categories, uh, and, but I don't know really your selection process as such. So I'm going to suggest maybe why it has come to this. I think you make this decision understanding the importance of public service. And by the way, I include in public service uh, politics. It is, believe me, public service. I think you also have come to understand that it's, a, it's really something for those who do decide to take the plunge into something that is absolutely exhilarating, exhilarating and rewarding at times, and also demanding and frustrating at other times. But it is our system, and we are terribly dependent on the integrity and the foresight and the responsiveness and just plain good common sense of our elected officials because their judgments and their decisions really set the ground rules for the society in which all of us have to function. Whether it's budgetary issues, which are always with us it seems, uh, or our commitment to the education of the next generation, or civil unions, or our willingness to invest in the innovation and creativity that made this country a world leader, and hopefully also Illinois a major leader here at home. And so instead of denigrating all politicians, as so many people do, you are reaching out, really, to some who have at best tried, and at least tried. Tried to make public service indeed serve the public. Now, politics is not in one of its most sterling phases right now. Uh, certainly not nationally, and at times here in Illinois also, although when I look around me, I think we're doing a lot better than some of our fellow states. Uh, but in any event, uh, it, it's not a happy time, really, for the art of politics. Uh, there's too much money, not for education and reasoned debate, but for sound bites and 30-second commercials, often negative and all too often very personal also. Uh, there's too much shrill rhetoric and too many dug-in positions. You've all heard the it's my way or the highway, and there is much too much of that mentality. There is not enough of reaching out to listen to and understand and respect the other person's point of view and values. There's not enough of resolving our differences with civility and a view toward the long-term good for all of us, not just my special interest or the next election. I believe, and I really do believe, that this too shall pass. If I didn't, I don't think I would have spent so many uh, years in the political trenches. So if you, in bestowing this honor on me, are saying, well, here is at least someone who tried, who had an uplifting and not a downgrading view of what it means to be a public servant, indeed a politician who is a public servant, then for all of that, I am very grateful and honored. And I hope and trust it won't be your last. After all, Abraham Lincoln was a public service servant and a politician. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.